How is memory formed and how good is it at storing information? Have you ever wondered how our minds remember everything from our first day of school to the last party we attended? It's amazing how our brain can form memories and store so much information. In this, creative writing I will explore the process of memory formation and the science behind why storing information in our minds isn't always a reliable practice. So grab a cup of coffee and your favorite notebook, it's time to take a little dive into understanding memory. Brought to you by Macmillions Consulting. Introduction to Memory Formation Memory is a form of mental functioning involving the retention, recall and usage of experiences or previously learnt information. It is essential for the learning process, as well as cognition and socializing. Understanding how the brain forms memories is critical for understanding both human behavior and its underlying neurological processes. The formation of memory occurs through a process called encoding, which involves transferring information from short-term memory to long-term memory stores. The three types of encoding used in this process are visual, acoustic, and semantic. Visual encoding involves processing images through sight, acoustic encoding involves processing sound through hearing, and semantic encoding focuses on processing words or concepts for their meaning. The second step in memory formation is storage, wherein the encoded information remains in long-term memory storage until it needs to be retrieved later. Memory storage can be divided into categorical, temporal and spatial categories depending on the framework used to store information. Categorical frameworks involve grouping similar items together, such as animals in biology class. Temporal frameworks can involve keeping track of events over time, such as birthdays, while spatial frameworks focus on the location of objects relative to one another, such as store pricing. The final step in the memory formation process is retrieval where the encoded information stored in long-term memory must be summoned back into consciousness when needed. This can sometimes be hindered by distractors which can disrupt our ability to effectively retrieve memories quickly and accurately. Distractors may come from either physical stimulus such as noise or emotional stimuli such as stress or anxiety. Thus, creating an environment that helps reduce such factors can help improve retrieval from our long-term memories. With everything that is involved in memory formation you can see how it could be difficult to remember with a traumatic brain injury. Brain Structures Involved in Memory Formation Memory formation is a complex, multifaceted process that can be divided into three primary stages, encoding, storage and retrieval. It involves structures of the brain including centers responsible for emotion and higher thinking, as well as several neurological pathways connecting the different areas. For accurate memory formation to take place, these pathways must be intact and functional. Encoding can be thought of as laying down a memory trace. For successful memory formation, attention and focus on incoming information must be targeted effectively in order to correctly interpret sensory input like sights, sounds or smells. This information is encoded into the hippocampus through neural connections between neurons in the brain region known as the medial temporal lobe, name recognition, word meaning, facial recognition, all of which are vital elements employed during encoding are believed to occur within this region. The encoding becomes off balance with a TBI making it hard to even start to lay down a memory trace at all. Once encoding is complete, memories can be stored in either short-term or long-term memory using multiple biological processes that occur simultaneously within the cortex. The wave patterns of electrical impulses created by neurons working together serve as indicators for long-term memories that will remain stored for up to 20 years or more, these patterns remain stable due to an increase in brain function activity known as consolidation that takes place over time. The last stage of memory formation involves recall or retrieval from either short-term or long-term memories depending on need at any given moment. This relies on communication between various networks in a process called reactivation which operates on reactivating specific neuronal connections that have been reinforced due to repetition, strengthening links between contexts in a web-like fashion, which allows any given piece of information easy access when needed later. TBI makes the retrieval process take a little longer than normal. Sometimes help is needed to retrieve some things. Overall, 
The formation and storage of everything from basic facts through implicit skills rely on complex liaisons between numerous different brain regions. These two factors combined enable remarkably good efficiency when dealing with retaining knowledge over time although deterioration with aging is commonly observed along with distortion follow a traumatic brain injury. Different types of memory. Memories, although complex, consist of three distinct components, encoding, storage and retrieval. Within the realm of memory formation there are three main types, sensory memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. Sensory memory, the sensory system retains an exact replica of a stimulus for a moment in time, usually less than one second, before it is decoded and processed by the brain. This allows us to perceive and understand more complex stimuli while still holding on to each individual piece. Short-term memory, also known as working memory, this type of memory stores limited pieces of data or information for a short period of time, usually just minutes. For example, if you are trying to remember a new phone number that was just given to you, that is an example of short-term memory. Long-term memory, unlike short-term memory which can hold only limited information for brief periods of time, long-term memory allows us to store vast amounts of information over an extended period, days slash weeks slash months slash years. This type of storage is permanent and relatively easy to retrieve when needed. For instance if you remember the name of your kindergarten teacher, this is an example of long-term memory in action. Memory capacity and duration. When it comes to memory, the capacity and duration of information recall are two of the most important factors. The capacity of a person's memory refers to how much information they can hold in their short-term and long-term memory, while duration is the length of time this information can be remembered. Meaning with a traumatic brain injury the memory recall may take longer than normal due to the way the capacity and duration varies. The capacity of short-term memory is usually estimated to be between 5 and 9 items. This type of memory lasts only a few seconds, making it ideal for remembering temporary data needed to complete a task or a mental image such as a familiar face. Long-term memory can hold an almost unlimited amount of information that remains stored over days, months, or even years. Long-term memories create neural pathways in the brain that allow you to remember more than just isolated facts. The duration at which memories are stored also varies greatly from person to person and depends on how deeply they ingrain the experience in their mind as well as if they revisited or rehearsed what happened when forming the memory in the first place. Deep memories tend to last for years whereas surface memories, ones that were not processed deeply, tend to fade quickly. This gives a TBI survivor a strange less understanding memory when it comes to the public eye. In addition, research has also found that emotional events tend to be remembered better than neutral ones due to our evolutionary need for survival, emotional experiences help us learn quickly so we can avoid dangerous scenarios in the future in which these are the thoughts most remembered by a TBI survivor. Factors that affect memory formation. Memory formation can be affected by a variety of factors, such as age, level of alertness, physical and mental condition, prior knowledge of a specific topic and stress. Various research has shown that cognitive strategies can be effective for improving memory. The effectiveness of such strategies depend upon the way in which one learns and stores information. Age can significantly affect memory formation. As age increases, it becomes increasingly difficult to learn new information and retrieve old memories from long-term memory. Additionally, individuals tend to remember more when they are in an alert state of mind and actively involved in learning activities. Stressful or anxious situations may reduce focus and therefore negatively impact memory formation. Previous experience with a given subject is another important factor that affects memory formation. If someone has already encountered similar information before, their chances of remembering it again will increase significantly because it will already be stored in the long-term memory banks. In addition to the aforementioned factors, physiological conditions such as sleep deprivation can also play an important role in impacting the ability to store new memories effectively. Memory Retrieval Strategies Retrieval of memories is an important part of the process of remembering it is what allows us to access information stored in long-term memory. 
Memory retrieval strategies refer to the strategies we use to recall information from memory, ranging from simple rote recall to more complex cognitive strategies. Rote recall is the most basic form of retrieval and occurs when a person recalls information through repeating it multiple times. This is a very helpful tool when it comes to a traumatic brain injury. It involves memorizing pieces of information and then recalling them in sequence. This type of recall often relies on habits or associations, rather than on understanding or abstraction. Active recitation is a more complex form of retrieving memories that involves actively relearning knowledge or skills in order to remember it better. This type of strategy requires active processing and analysis, which can help deepen one's understanding of the material being learned and make it easier for them to integrate into their existing knowledge base over time. Strategy-based approaches such as mnemonic devices are ways that people can use cues to logically organize material in order to make it easier to remember. People might use mental imagery, stories, acronyms, or rhymes as these types of retrieval strategies in order to help aid their memory retention. Finally, distributed practice is a beneficial approach for remembering facts or concepts over a longer period by spacing out learning sessions over time instead of cramming all the material into one period. Studies have shown that this approach can be more beneficial when compared with studying all at once due to increased memory retention and greater understanding related with spaced learning techniques. Enhancing memory formation. The ability to store and recall information is essential to a person's success. Fortunately, memory is a skill that can be improved in several ways. Enhancing memory formation is possible using mnemonic strategies, or tools used to help encode and retrieve information from long-term memory. Mnemonic strategies are used to organize information into small chunks and increase memorability by providing connections between related pieces of information or using association cues. Some common mnemonic devices include acrostics, where the first letter of each concept forms a word, visual imagery, where an image is created for each item, chaining, which involves linking items in a logical order, rhythm and rhyme, the method of loci, which involves mentally placing items in different locations within an imaginary environment, and repetition. Effective use of mnemonics can help us make better use of our available memory capacity and remember more effectively. With practice, these approaches can become habitual ways of encoding new material so that it's easier to remember later. Making use of different techniques while studying also allows us to avoid becoming overwhelmed by large amounts of information at once as well as avoid memorization techniques that require repetitive practice to retain knowledge. Conclusion In conclusion, memory formation involves a complex process of organization and storage. Short-term memory can retain information for seconds to a few minutes, while long-term memory can store items more securely over longer periods of time. Even though it is unreliable at times, it provides us with the ability to remember experiences and past knowledge that may be crucial for our functioning in daily life. Therefore, further research into the structure and processing of information in the memory system may yield innovative solutions that could efficiently strengthen our memories and be used to enhance general cognitive function, praying healing on a new kinda era, Funk.